everyone, I'm here today to talk about my logo. Back in 2013, I hadn't actually decided that I was going to be a book designer. I wanted to do graphic design in general, and I was more interested in branding and brand identity at that point. So I thought that a good sort of starting out point for, for my portfolio would be to design my own brand identity. How I started with this was with my initials. So we've got the design here, and then if you flip it on its side, you can actually see the H and the D there. Trees are something that I have always really enjoyed drawing. I would sketch them in the margins of my sketch books and notebooks at, at school. And like I said, this is well before I decided to niche down into book design. So I'm really glad that this translates very well into book design books generally being made out of trees. I think that if I'd tried to brand myself from the point where I decided to be a book designer, I probably would have gone for something a bit more obviously bookish. And I like that this isn't. It's got a page here of sort of scribbles and little sketches. I did a set of other little sketches and looking at different ways that the tree itself could be composed. So when I did this initially, I wasn't particularly good at Adobe Illustrator. So I just used an image trace. I, I'd drawn it up by hand, quite big, and then photographed it, and I image traced it on Illustrator. And then a couple of years later, I went back in and sort of cleaned up some of those points just so the, the lines were smoother. The text that I use alongside this logo is a combination of a serif font and a sans serif. And the reason that I went for this is because the rainbow shape that you've got over the top of, of the logo of the tree is kind of looks sans serif. There's nothing come of, coming off of it. Whereas the tree itself has branches which look a bit like serifs. So I wanted to echo that in the text. And then the two words are kind of off, offset a bit just to balance out the whole design. So now I don't do logo design as a rule. Um, I've done some in the past, but now I just do the book design that is my thing but I'm very glad that I have this because I might not have bothered with a, a logo at this point if I had you know been starting out from book design initially so yeah I'm, I'm quite happy to have that and I, I still really like it which is quite rare in in my work actually I tend to look back at stuff that I designed a few years ago and think oh gosh that's no I could do that so much better now um, which I suppose is, is a good thing to know that you're kind of improving. That's the story of how it came about. Um, if you want to find me elsewhere online, I am at Holly Dunn Design on Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'm also on Goodreads, that's linked below. You can take a look at my design work on my website, which will also be below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.